Hello, friends. I feel like I haven't been able to do a live stream in forever because I was sick for a while and with Christmas and everything. So I'm super excited to be back on Bear Shop today. And we are going to talk about uh, a home scent guide. I personally love when I walk into my home and it smells good. Like when you know when you walk to someone's house and it just like smells amazing or you walk into a store and it smells so good. That's what I want for my home. So we're going to talk about a couple of different scent options today. We're going to talk about three different candles, and then I also have, let me mute that guy, sorry. I also have a diffuser that we're going to talk about, um, uh, like a reed diffuser. So let's start with candles. In terms of candles, um, there are a couple things you want to keep in mind when you're burning candles, and so I figure we'll just kind of start there before we dive into the types of candles. We've got the scents here, all the layered notes, um, as well as the diffuser. So with candles, there is something that you need to be aware of called the two foot rule. And the two foot rule means that you should never have a candle within two feet of anything that's flammable or that could knock it over and cause a fire hazard. So there's something to keep in mind there. Whenever you burn a new candle, you always wanna trim the wick to about a quarter of an inch. And then you wanna let it burn for three to four hours so that the top of the candle, let's use this one for example, the entire top of the candle has melted. And that prevents tunneling, which is when you find that a big hole is in your candle and it doesn't burn evenly all the way down. And when your candles tunnel, you're not getting the most use out of them. So it's just, you know, better bang for your buck and make sure you're using candles properly. So let's start with, um, I have two candles we're gonna talk about today from Brooklyn Candle Studio. I love Brooklyn Candle Studio because they are based in Brooklyn, New York. They are a U.S. company. These are hand-poured candles that are, um, what's my note on them? They are phthalate-free, petroleum-free, and they only use clean burning cotton wicks. And then their soy is um, a soy-based, I'm sorry, their wax is a soy-based wax that they use. And Brooklyn Candle Studio focuses on creating minimalist candles with a really high-end aesthetic, but that are still at price points that everybody can kind of afford. So let's start with this guy. Okay, this is the Brooklyn Candle Studio Love Potion Minimalist Candle. It's usually $28. Get it for $23.80 on the live stream. This has got to be probably one of the most beautiful scents that I have ever um, smelled in a candle. And I've had it for quite a while and I'm trying to avoid using it up so I, before I have to buy a new one. But this is a seven and a half ounce candle. The burn time for it is up to 50 hours. It did come with a really beautiful gold lid that you can see in the picture here. So they mentioned that this is great for traveling. I personally have never traveled with a candle before, but I think I might now because I love this scent so much. So let's kind of dive in. Hello, Lindsay and Jasmine's here too. Let's take a look at some of the, like the notes of this candle specifically. So the top note of this candle is Mandarin, but even though it's Mandarin, I don't get like a huge citrusy scent from this. It's definitely more of um, a sweet scent. Now Mandarins are, I actually did some research on this. Mandarins are obviously a type of orange and they are in a, they are, the overarching category that like tangerines and clementines and satsumas fall into. And they're generally smaller and sweeter than oranges, which is why you're not gonna get such a huge citrus scent with the top note of mandarin. Now the middle note for this guy is lavender, which is very, very popular in candles. I think the other candle we're gonna look at today too has lavender in it. And really nice basic scent known to be calming. Um, it's found in Cape Verde and the Canary Islands, very commonly used in fragrances. Now the base note for this one, which I really think gives it like all of the beauty, is the jasmine blossoms. And there's actually over 200 species of jasmine blossoms, and they're widely cultivated because of their fragrances. But interestingly, there are also a lot of plants that have the word jasmine in them that actually aren't jasmines, which is kind of interesting. So this one's definitely a favorite of mine. It's 100% soy wax. It's eco-friendly. It has a clean burn. And the little glass container is really nice too. I think you could probably clean this out and use it later. If you've never used um, a candle before, after it's done, what I like to do is I like to pour in hot water, like boiling water, and that'll get most of it. And then I'll kind of pour 
um, what I can kind of down the drain and then clean it out with a paper towel. And that way you can get like a nice clean candle. I'll show you a candle holder. I'll show you. Um, this is one from Diptyque that I did that with because I like to keep my little solo wave in here. And you can't even tell that there was a candle in there if you like kind of clean it out well enough. Okay, yes, so let's move on. The next one we're gonna talk about, I actually already used up, so I'm gonna flip it. Yes, I wanna do this with all of these because they're like so good. I think I'm gonna put like my makeup brushes in them. Okay, next one we're gonna talk about is the uh, Neroli Noir candle. And Neroli is my favorite scent ever, so I'm gonna flip and go to the product page so you guys can actually see Hopefully you guys can see my screen. Yes, okay, you can. Okay, so I think I have this in my home favorites kit. Here, here we go. Okay, oh, I don't even have it in here. Uh, okay, let's search for it. Here it is. Okay, cool. So this is the Neroli Noir Candle. This one is a little bit bigger, it's 10 ounces, so you get a 70 hour burn time. And then this one has a few different notes. I love the container on this one, personally. I think it's like so beautiful. And this one is great for minimalist um, vibes in your home if you wanna clean it out or whatever. So as far as notes on this one, it has notes of sage, which is like an aromatic herb. And that's actually in the mint family oh my god girl that wagon is the best thing i've ever bought i will do i have a live on it honestly my dad was like you need to get one of those old lady shopping carts and i was like i have one i don't have to that way i don't have to um bring all my groceries in at one at a time <laughs> okay back to candles got off base okay so this candle has a base uh a note top note of sage which is actually in the mint family i didn't realize that sage was related to mint which is pretty cool it also has lily in it, which are large, fragrant flowers. They come in a very large variety of colors. And that's typically what you see that has like the little stamen on the end. If you buy lilies, they tend to get pollen all over your counter. And then neroli is the final um, ingredient in that candle. And neroli is this sweet, bright uh, oil that is extracted from the orange blossom tree, which is pretty cool. Neroli is like one of my favorite scents of all time. Um, so is bergamot, and they're both, like, citrus-related, and I don't like citrus, so it's kind of funny to me that that's the case. So that one's great as well, too. A little bit more expensive, $29.75, but it's got a 70-hour burn time, and I really like the container, so I say it's a good deal. Okay, let's talk about my favorite candle that I've gotten from Fair Shop so far. This is so cool. This is the Blind Barber scented candle. And I actually like, it doesn't say how big it is on here, but it's huge, right? Cause this is um, a 50 hour burn time. So my assumption would be that this one is maybe like 120. So Blind Barber is a, they started out in, um, I think 2010 in the East Village. They're a barbershop that they opened up. And now fast forward, they have barbershops all over and they create um, like self care products for men or people who don't gender identify as male. Um, and they focus on high quality ingredients as well as, uh, natural ingredients. And then they want to embody those with their favorite spirits, which I thought was cool. So like whiskey or whatever. This one, I thought this was so cool. Cause you know what this looks like? It looks like the containers that they use at the barbershop to disinfect their products. And I thought that was so cool. I think this little lid is such a nice touch. I feel like it's what you would usually see that has all the combs and stuff in it where it would sit. And this thing smells so good, you guys. It has three notes here. The top note being smoke, which I think is so unique. And then lavender and leather. This is probably one of the best, like, most fragrant candles that I've ever had. I literally burn it all the time. And it's a really nice container. The base is also a rubber base that actually comes off. Oh, wait, will this tell me how big it is? It does not tell me how big it is, but I do like the rubber base. So you can make sure if you're putting it on a, you've got a, um, a table you're putting it on that you don't have to worry too much about it slipping off. And then it has just one wick, which you should of course trim to about a quarter of an inch. And then you want to let the handle completely melt over the top to make sure that it doesn't tunnel. 
have you guys seen that TikTok that's like me waiting to go to the grocery store because I just lit my candle and I have to wait for it to melt completely? That's totally me. I've like lit a new candle before and I'm like, I can't leave because if I blow it out, then it's going to tunnel and I'm going to waste the candle. Makes me crazy. I really liked also kind of the vibe they put together with this. It, these are more expensive candles, right? $61 on sale is, is a little bit pricier, but I totally think if you like larger candles, this is totally worth it. So they created like a vibe for the candle and they said, we envisioned walking into our barber shop and being hit with a clean smell of fresh towels, which I definitely get from this, but it's not like a cotton scent. The candles feature soy wax, they're hand poured in New York City, and they have notes of honey, as well as the smoke, leather, and lavender. And they've chosen all of those things because of the special connection that each of those items have to the barbershop, which I thought was really cool. I love like a, a brand connection type story. So this one's awesome. They do also have it in a smaller size if you wouldn't want to spend as much and you wanted to try out something a little bit smaller. But I'm definitely going to um, keep using this and I'm going to clean it out. And I think I might use it for my makeup brushes once it's all done because it's just, it's huge. It's so gorgeous. Okay, we've got one more candle. Actually, it's not a candle. I lied. It's a diffuser. Okay, so the last product we're going to talk about today is the Femme de Force Diffuser from Crabtree and Evelyn. Let me grab it. So this is all, this product is like all about female empowerment. It's usually 60 bucks on sale for $45.90 during the live stream. And this is a reed diffuser, but it comes with this gorgeous color cover. What day is it? It comes with this gorgeous cover. And at the bottom here, it says grow your mind. And you can place this over the top. That's how I usually have it in my bathroom is I have this sitting over the top of this. Isn't it so cute? And I've had this for at least a month and a half and I'll flip the what you do is you flip the reeds every once in a while um to basically get more scent going but let's talk about the scent so Evelyn Rose is the fragrance that's like Crabtree and Evelyn's like um like signature fragrance and I believe Crabtree and Evelyn is an English brand so this has top notes have a burst of citrus with Italian lemon frankincense and cassis. So uh, frankincense is actually an aromatic resin that they use in perfumes as well as incenses, and it's obtained from a tree, which I had no idea that that's what frankincense was. And then cassis is actually black currant, and it comes, um, that's like the French word for black currant. So you've got like a nice like berry scent for the top note there. And then the heart note is what they call crushed English rose petals. And I didn't know this, but the term English rose is typically used to describe like a naturally beautiful woman from England, which is kind of cool because the English rose is kind of part of their, their like little crest. Um, warm nutmeg, cashmere, wood, and musk. So, you know, you get a little bit of feminine in there. You do get a little bit of that musk scent as well. So it's not, it's a little bit, has a little bit more dimension to it. And then the base note is earthy vetiver, smoky guaiac wood, and then musk, and it creates a sensual lingering base. And vetiver is actually um, something that's dry. It's a grass that they derive that scent from. So when they, the description, like the vibe for this diffuser, the Crabtree and Elvillan says, is they want you to imagine that you're walking through English rose gardens and exotic spice markets. I don't get as much of a spice scent with it. It's definitely more of just like a beautiful um, floral smell. And how it works when you get it, this top piece here comes off. And you can insert the reeds here. You screw this back on. And it's actually, it's a concentrated oil fragrance that's in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually flip these because it's been a while. Let's try not to make a mess here. And I'll flip it back over and put it in. And now all of these reeds have they're like freshly scented and I like to keep this in my bathroom and again like I usually have this sitting over the top of it um you want to put this probably back on before you flip the reeds because this is going to be a struggle for me now but this is a really nice like ceramic cover so is this these are very heavy products I would say they feel very very high quality 
I love Crabtree and Evelyn. I know that my mom used to buy from them all the time. So they're a brand that's definitely been around for a while. And I just love this, like, grow your mind, like, female empowerment piece. I think it's so gorgeous. So, yeah, let me pop this down. I got oil all over my hands now. I smell incredible, though. There's no question about that. Thank you, ladies, for joining my live today. We covered, I think, four different products. And I hope you learned something new about some of those scents uh, and fragrances that we talked about. And I can't wait to talk to you guys next time. I think I'm going to do like a hair tutorial um, on Vera Shop next. I'm just waiting for something to get delivered. All right, guys, have a great day. Have a great weekend.